Welcome to BT Travel. I'm your host, Sabrina, here to guide you on all things Barbadian and vacation. Today we are in beautiful Bridgetown and we're about to do the Lickrich walking tour. If you're wondering what that's about, it's all about food and the history of Barbados. So let's go. and welcome to Lickrish Food Tours. I'm Janelle. So Lickrish Food Tours, we are the first ever walking food tour in Barbados. So it means that most of our tour will be focusing on the history of the food, but we still want to make sure you learn a little something about our capital city, Bridgetown, as well as some information on Barbados. All right, before we get into all that though, one question, do you know what Lickrish means? Someone told me around the island something about, it's like a Bayesian saying about food, like loving food or eating a lot of food. Like Chris, yes. You like a lot of food, you eat everything on your plate and you put more on your plate than you should. Mm. Exactly, and some, some people might even go back for thirds and fourths. Yes. <laughs> so our food culture, a lot of our colonial past, that has to be taken into consideration. But even before we had Europeans here, we would have had indigenous people living here on the island. So according to historians and scholars, they believe the early settlement of Barbados by these indigenous people is dating as far back as 2000 BC. So we have three main tribes living here on the island, the Lokonos, the Tainos, and the Kalinagos. Along with the history of these indigenous people, we learned about the arrival of the Portuguese and the British, who as well bring Irish indentured servants also brought enslaved Africans to the island, all of which greatly influenced the Barbadian food culture. To finish off, I just wanted to go in now a little bit more into the actual foods that would have been eaten by those groups you would have just learned about. Their main staple source was the sweet potato. In addition to that, they were given a dish called loblolly. So the loblolly, which was actually cooked by the enslaved people, the base to that is gonna be Indian corn. You add some water to it, you boil that mixture till it gets to the thickness of a pack. And that dish would have evolved throughout the centuries and eventually become our cuckoo of today. Oh. Yeah. So our national dish cuckoo is gonna be usually served with your fried or steamed flying fish. Other establishments you go to might also serve that with the salted cod, or as we would say in Barbados, salt fish. So we're gonna get to the good part where you finally get to experience some local food. So on our itinerary for today, we'll be doing two local restaurants. We'll visit a local market local bakery we'll do a street vendor or two along the way and then to finish off your tour you know it's not complete unless you get dessert at the end of course. right now we are in the main shopping area of bridgetown so this is the main street where we'll be we'll be doing your shopping and the very first food stop is going to be taking us right here to tim's restaurant so tim's is where you will be doing your home style cooking so you're not in the mood to cook at home but you still want to get that home cooked meal you can always come to a place like tim's with several starches, vegetables, and meat options. Sit on the balcony and enjoy the view of Broad Street. Okay, so what you're having here is gonna be a sample of the macaroni pie. Macaroni pie is a very popular dish in Barbados, served with baked pork or chicken, tossed salad, and veggies. Much like the American mac and cheese, but flavored with fresh herbs and seasonings, then baked till firm. Next up is the Palmetto Mall and Market. Here you'll find vendors selling fruits, vegetables, organic products like homemade juices. We have some juicy mango slices and vegan sour drink from Lion Stall. This was the best sour drink I have ever had. Okay, so we're going to be sampling some local fruit at the stop. So before I mention though the name of the fruit, um, do you recognize this fruit? Ever seen it before? I just tried it yesterday actually. No. Oh, correct. Eh? It has two spellings. You can spell it either D-O-N-K or D-U-N-K. Mm -hmm. Outside of Barbados, you're going to hear Indian Jujube or Chinese date. It's a berry-like fruit with a large seed in the middle. The taste is quite unique. I can't tell you what this tastes like though. Real nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not associated with any salt. Yeah, it doesn't taste. There's nothing that tastes like taste. this to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this next stop, we're gonna get to try out a very popular local delicacy called fish cakes. Mm. So the base to it is your salted cod, or as you would say in Barbados, salt fish. 
It would also contain flour and a mixture of local herbs and seasoning. But I taste that there's fish in here, so that's good. Yeah. It's good. I like it. For all those cake and pastry lovers, this one is for you. Our next stop is Crumbs Bakery. Here you'll find a wide selection of local pastries like turnover, jam puffs, currant slice, sweet bread, rock cakes, the list just keeps going. We tried the savory pastry called meat roll, which is similar to Jamaican patty. It's a type of flavored ground beef or minced meat wrapped in a light flaky pastry. At Mustard's restaurant, we tried Moby from the tree bark, lemonade, and the national dish of Barbados, cuckoo with some fish. I love their flying fish. The cuckoo is well flavored. Oh yeah. Some people are able to get all this. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally made it to the last stop of the day. So welcome to Agape Chocolate Factory. And what you're gonna be having here is their ice cream. So the base of their ice cream is gonna be coconut milk, so it's all non-dairy. The only exception to their range is the rum caramel, so that will contain a small amount of dairy. I've never tasted anything like that. Okay, I can tell what the accent was. I mean, I knew you were from here. Okay, so now you guys know a little bit more about the history of Bridgetown and the delicious food in Barbados. I thoroughly enjoyed it, especially the agape ice cream. Definitely my favorite, and I would recommend this tour to both locals and tourists. As always, stay safe, but enjoy life, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.